Some of this will be, um, will intersect with linear perspective later. So there's several ways to approach every, every object, right? But the thing that you want to make sure is that as, if you're drawing a box, that these lines go back and they're eventually going to converge. So this angle has to be uh, less than parallel, right? Now, most people would do this sort of thing right here. And they would consider their box complete, right? Yeah. right? But this isn't really, this doesn't give us anything to really like work with. What we want to do is make sure that we understand where the back of the box is. So you have to draw through it as it's, as if it were invisible, right? And you can see the sort of wireframe modeling of it. If I draw in the back of the box and I have this like really harsh lighting setup, like we've got here. No. I know exactly where the light is, or the shadow comes out here, right? Comes out like this and goes along the ground and so on, right? and it goes back somewhere here. If I don't have the back of the, the back corner of the box, I don't know where that shadow comes out exactly on this line. But because I have the back corner of the box, I know that it's coming out from the back corner. And I can actually draw the shadow out from there. Does that make sense? The other thing too is when you have multiple objects, if you don't understand where the back of the object is, you don't know if if you're accidentally putting an object like inside the back and just sort of visually overlapping it, which is a weird occurrence that you see sometimes. The next thing to do to finish this out is to, is to just go ahead and add, add in detail, right? So the box has a lid. And I don't care so much that you get this all like perfect and in proportion. Mostly I just care that you're that you're being analytical about the structures. That you're adding in everything. So the lid has thickness too, so I'm gonna draw that as well. And then if you wanna to continue to, to work in detail, you can get very specific about certain certain corners, right? Say, well, this corner comes out like that, and it's got a little fold on the fabric of the box, and that just goes out here. And this corner is kind of curvy. So you can start, you know, start in with some detail in the box. That's up to you. One of the simplest things you can do to sort of make it, without going into, into shadow, is to ground an object, you can, or make it feel like it's on the ground, you can kind of darken the, the little ground shadow line where you see it dark just a little bit dark in here but for today and tomorrow I just want you guys to practice a bunch of this stuff with a cylindrical object like this thing it's mostly I mean you see it being round but it's also mostly cylindrical um, there are several ways to approach it, and I want you to draw multiple ways to approach it if there are multiple ways. So you could say that this kind of has an egg-like egg shape here, and that it's got a cone coming off of that. And that on the ground, it's got another cone that intersects that cone. You see what I mean? 
and then on the for the lid it's got another cylindrical sort of shape. Do you see how that is kind of coming along? You could yeah. you could then develop that a little bit further and get all the little details that you see in it, right? And so on. Work your way down to the bottom. That would be one potential approach, right? And it doesn't, you'll get the proportions, right? If eventually, with a lot of practice, um, so you don't have to sit there and measure back and forth necessarily. Um, the other way to approach this is with uh, just straight cylinders, right? So you first draw a cylinder, it's about the height, because you'll notice that the top and bottom are about the same width apart, right? And then you'll see that this little bell shape comes out a little bit, and then down here you'll have cylinders inside that cylinder. So when you do a, a cylindrical analysis, you want to make sure you have the axis drawn out so that everything becomes very symmetrical. Most people don't actually sort of teach this, which I don't know why, because it's really useful. Yeah, they're just like drawing Draw what you see. Yeah, I hate that. That's like the most common useless advice in drawing. So this is actually, yeah, draw what you see, of course. But um, you also have to draw what you know about the object. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like you don't see the these back the back of each of these little ellipses but you know that they're there, so you might as well just draw them in. If you draw what you see, this is what happens, right? Do you see all the little errors in that? It sucks. Not really. Well, Word first, errors. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, it's totally flat, right? Like it doesn't feel like it has any sort of dimension to it. It also has a really a common error with the ellipse, where uh, you see the almond shape. An ellipse is a circle, right? And if you tilt a circle down, you shouldn't see a point or an edge anywhere, right? No matter, no matter how tilted it is, it should never ever have that. Because if you tilted that up, it would look like this. And it would have these little funky points on it. Yeah. So you always watch out for that. And then, if you were to put the axis through this, this time it more or less lines up. But then you also notice that this height is greater than this. Ideally, when you do an ellipse, it should, you know, perfectly bisect in both directions and be symmetrical on all four sides. But that takes a lot of work and practice. Um, the other thing is, is that, um, see how it flattens out here? Still does that. It doesn't agree with the fact that the ellipses should sort of progress to where you're seeing more of it as you go down. Because if you start to complete these uh, ellipses, you'll see all those errors come out. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that if I draw an axis down the middle, that things become a little asymmetrical, right? Like this, this distance is shorter than this distance. Yeah. 
Yeah. So those are those are really common uh, pitfalls and, and errors that, that people make, and you'll probably make them too, just because you, know, you haven't tried this before. But um, if you do make them, that's okay. Uh, so long as you kind of can see it after the next couple of days.